Hello, and welcome. Isn't there game audio? Hang on. Right, there we go. Yeah, no, it's okay. Hello, and welcome to a bit more Factorio. Mike is in shot, obviously, because it couldn't possibly stay still. I'm going to use some... Uh, <clears throat> usually get gifted some money at Christmas uh, from my dad, and I'll use that. Buy a few more bits of bits of kit that don't collapse or you know <laughs> it's all just cheap rubbish that I'm using so it's not much of an upgrade but yeah anyway so uh, it's Sunday and uh, it's a bit more Factorio um, well speed running attempting to get the no spoon achievement it occurred to me yesterday that what I should have done as soon as I mean it's probably not actually because I know, I think you can... In fact, let's have a look. I don't have any mods on, hang on. I'm pretty sure... Uh, would it be under other? Auto save. No. I'm pretty sure you can get it... That's what I just looked at. You can get it to... Oh, crikey. Um, it wouldn't be in here anyway, would it? You can get it to skip the bit where it shows you the crash launch I think like you know just because obviously you press tab and you get out of it interaction visualization no it didn't look like it's on there well it's not going to be under sounds controls maybe if it is I haven't a clue where mm. it's not going to be in graphics Maybe you can't then, but I always thought you could, um... But then where's the... Where's the thing where... Tips and tricks... I don't actually know where the... I have to find that. Anyway, that's not very interesting. Yeah, I was thinking I should have saved it. Like when I started it up straight away, and that would have me. Because I've forgotten the exact. I, could, I can go and look at the actual stream, but um, I've forgotten what settings I set. Um, I might have to put my fan on. It's gone weirdly warm in the UK this weekend. It's like. Almost wish it. Not pack me shorts away. So I've had me me fan on. Oh, I thought it might be a bit smoother today. <laughs> Just as messy as yesterday. Uh, right, yes, so, so it's, I was thinking that I should have saved it at the very start of the thing and then I wouldn't have to bother looking up what all the settings I used were. Because uh, I did note down the seed. Um, I also noted down the, the researches I did. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to, if we put this one up as well, then we can kind of see how we're doing against both of them, effectively. Um, what was I going to do? I'm working, basically I'm working on upgrading all this, isn't it? I did, it, this is wrong. I need to move this, because we've now got nowhere else to put anything. Um, and we're going to have oil. Uh, and plastic and stuff at the very least come in this way um, so what we actually need to do is move this back a bit um, but it shouldn't be too difficult if we literally just oh, literally just do a copy and paste <coughs> of course it helps if I get it in the right place um, I mean we're going to want you know a couple of them anyway uh, but if I basically just put oh, put the extra one extra ones in and then just pick that one up because um, no problem having the belts there it's just the fact that all the machines are going to be in the way um, but yeah that sort of occurred to me yesterday uh, I'll put the belt in Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Like that, I guess. 
Uh, yeah, so, um, I say, I should have saved it at the very beginning, you know, of the, you know, the playthrough, as it were. Oh. Uh... Have I got any... I'm not making inserters, am I? That was, yeah, that was the next, next thing we really need to make. Might grab that. Grab, oops, grab that. Might as well... It may well be like all the inserters we ever need, uh, assemblers we ever need sort of thing. It's kind of one of those weird things. I was crunching through some of the numbers. Or thinking about some of the numbers. I wasn't really analysing or anything, but... It's like... You don't actually need that much of everything, if you see what I mean. Right. Oh, no, that would be that way, wouldn't it? And then this is all just straight. Like this. But yeah, I was, so I was looking at the numbers mainly from a point of view of sort of um, wondering which techs I actually need need to do. Right, you know, I wasn't sort of really doing the maths on trying to, you know, produce a rocket or anything, because that, that might well be a bit too much for me to <laughs> sort of put in my head, if you see what I mean. But, um, oh, let's make some more then. Uh, well, I don't actually. If I just pick these up, which is the whole point of what we're doing, and that'll take them out of the way. Oh. Um. Let's mm -mm -mm. first. Yeah. But whether I, you know, which text I actually need to to research. And it's actually a relatively small list, so why is that not connected? Get rid of all of these. Go there now. Yeah, oh, because it was obviously connected there. So we should now have uh, them. Apparently, I need one more of those. Like that. Obviously, there's no. This is what I need to do. Basically, I need to put copper in and all that sort of stuff. But, but yeah, we can kind of use this to bring plastic and all that sort of stuff down. Basically, yeah, we, be, we won't be doing much because there's basically no copper there. But um, yeah, that's the sort of idea of that system there. So what I really need to do is set up. Um, some inserters because uh, I forgot and it's basically the same recipe but yeah I hadn't ever really thought about it in these terms but there is a lot of stuff you know that's um, coherent as it were that it's the same stuff essentially um, so these are really slow, aren't they? I think I guess that's because they're just yeah, it's not running, not getting the material in. So this is why I'm thinking we probably do need fast in, some fast inserters, because there's some things. <laughs> just do them differently. Some things that um, like here, it'd probably be backing up now in terms of stuff going out. Oh, I never, I never set another research. That was a point. That was a point. Uh, if we do engines, yeah, but some of these things move faster than the actual, you know, um, or, or require materials faster than like the inserters can move, or you know, don't put them out quick enough, or any of that and that sort of stuff. So, so yeah, we need to. Um, 
be slightly careful. We'll probably need sort of more of these, basically. Um, I was a bit optimistic on these. <laughs> Filling an entire entire belt. Or very optimistic on them. I think actually then... We, yeah, probably just do too fast. But this is all very much... You know, this is the experimenting I was talking about, really. Uh, on yesterday's stream. Right, so... Are we at least making some inserters? We are. Right. Okay, so let's go and fill out the copper a bit. Um, I'm not. Am I bringing copper in? Did I get that far? I did, yeah. But we've not made... I might... Build a few more of them, just in case. Because I didn't... Yeah, I've not filled any of this in. Okay. So fill a, a lane of copper in. And that'll let it make some inserters and etc. Wait, did I put? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I did. Okay. I didn't know whether I turned turned something off or not, and I have. Which is good. Okay. Let's fill the belt out. So I put one complete set of this in, you know, copper. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops, go the wrong way around them. I was playing a game called Unpacking this morning. I've been playing it since sort of Friday, actually, off and on, but um, finished it this morning. So. I think they call them. Oh, run out of inserters. Okay. Wholesome games is kind of a term that's often used. They're um, sort of gentle. I mean, it's a puzzle game ish, but um, you basically unpack unpack a load of boxes as somebody moves houses, and it's sort of it's quite clever how it tells a story with it. You know, the story of that person's life, sort of thing. Um, but it's, um, it's like a pixel art game, uh, and it can be a little tricky, if I'm totally honest, to work out exactly what everything is. Um, and also, <clears throat> as I understand it, maybe wrong, as I understand it, it's an Australian studio. So obviously there's cultural differences, you know, there's some things that, UK things as it were, that you know aren't really sort of relevant to, or it's different in Australia sort of thing. Um, Ah, these don't have... Oh, right, I must have run out of... Inserters there as well. Okay. Righty-ho, righty-ho. These are missing inserters. Okay, let's have a quick look at the power. Loads of headroom. Is everyone running? Looks like it. Cool. Okay. So we should, I mean, it'd take it a while for it to, you know, fully come through, but we should eventually have a a lane of copper. That will help us produce a few circuits, so we can run these down a bit firmer. Uh, obviously, we want to go under that. Yeah, I suspect it is going to be better to separate these out more, basically. Um, particularly, well, like I say, I've now not. If I want, it, if I need to add another iron, 
I'll have to put it down here and it'll be quite messy. But um but yeah, so So yeah, so what we need to decide basically is what we're gonna make next. So where we want to get to. Uh it doesn't show you <clears throat> Biggest surprise yesterday, as I say, is that you don't need rocketry to launch a rocket, which I was not expecting at all. Um, I'm pretty damn sure that that must be a change they made. Um, because uh, I am so I'm convinced you used to need rocketry, and in fact you used to need the speed boost rocketry. Um, you know, the... I mean, they, I know they changed the buffs, but there used to be a speed and a... Um, damage for rocketry uh which they i mean they'd get they'd get rid of but you needed like to go up to level five uh for the speed boost and that was obviously meant you had to do rocketry but you don't even have to do it now yeah what we want to work to basically is oil because <clears throat> that's obviously a bit more complicated to set up um so what we want after this is probably the advanced materials i don't know whether i'll put in any advanced you know production ones um what we also need to think about is what we want to make next because we've got the level two assemblers but we don't really need them what well, they also think the thing i was also thinking about is this i think is going to be like a multi-stage blueprint where basically um because we want to start making science at much better volumes now um and what i'm thinking with this is that i come up with a blueprint that is like the first two labs in a row fed with red science on one side and then green science on the other and I can plop it down and basically keep replacing it um, you know keep upgrading it effectively um, so if we take these down to here and then we'll put the labs in here um, or rather maybe where am I going to put red circuits I think actually, because there is loads of room, it's not, you know, room is not sort of an issue, other than the fact that it means lots of belts. You know, you need to use lots of belts. Uh, right, so, in that case, why don't we put the science here? Because we've got two labs. So if we put... Uh, if we start there... So we've got two, as I say, so we need one. I'm thinking we probably need about six. I'm going to say we do have two already. Um, and I'm thinking I'll do my usual trick of eff effectively feeding the science back down. So what we can do is just double-side it, because we don't need white or military. That's... Yeah, we don't need white or military. Um, we just put, say, red and green on this one. Then, you know, I don't know, blue and something, or just blue on that one. And then sort of, you know, purple or whatever on the other one. But say we can sort of just do that as we go. Why did I not make enough of that? <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so we'll have uh, basically three lanes. Uh, and the first one will be... In fact, they're going to be too close, aren't they? Because I need a bit of undergrounding room. We need... to be it there so then we want in fact let's just do oops why did that do that it's because I walked on the belt you forget you know that uh, you don't have um, no idea whether doing the whole you know five Machines is worthwhile or, or what really? 
Um, but we shall see. We do obviously now have though. Um, Um, cogs on the on the bus, which I don't normally do. Oops. Uh, but I thought that might help us out. So we want underground now. We want that probably there. Got maybe one back. Oops. Guess we want copper here T anticipating that that will probably the sec this other one will be copper as well but I say we'll kind of have to have to see right so that's red science. And then we want green science to be. Is it six seconds for that? I always forget. Six and five, yeah. So, so we'll put. Oh, uh, no. If I. How best to do it? Because. So if we put some fast inserters, so for that one, say making those, and then you making those, then what we need to bring up here, oh, it's too many, isn't it? That's not a problem, though. Because we've got the cogs for both of them here. And we can have them both output... Like that. You know, and feed that up as it were. So that's fine. But we need iron plate. Oh no, that'll work. We need iron plate and oops. And uh circuits. Uh which are iron plates there. But up circuits are there. Yes, yeah, so if we join them together here, so this is why I'm thinking um, we need more room, basically. So because I'm gonna have to do quite a lot of undergrounding. Oh, I've run out of the way. I'm kind of assuming that it's going to be quicker, easier, efficient, more efficient for me to basically hand make every underground we need, but that could be incorrect. I don't know. Like that. You up there. You across there. Whoops. Oh, I keep I've gotten so used to having bots and. And basically handling all those sorts of errors for me. Right, so you're across there. And then we want... Whoops. We want that. Say to there. Across there. Right, brilliant. So if we go up here. Like so. Then we should be able to chuck... Those in green potions there. Turn that off. Them in. Take them out again. So then this needs to be oops on this side. Nope. Like so. Okay.
So there we go. Oh, of course it helps if I do an output. What are you waiting for? Well, you're not waiting for anything. You're waiting to output. And you need more iron plates. So, do that. 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 And you need more iron plate as well. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We can put another one of these on. Now, it may be actually better, you know, if I just leave this up here. But what I'm thinking, you see, is I come up with some design that is effectively the start of that. And now that I know where it's going to be, I can do that. But we'll do that, you know, after we've got through and launched a rocket. And that's where, you know... So I'm going to try and make notes, basically, and sort of say, right, well, this is what I need to do here, etc., etc., um, you know, to improve the speed and efficiency, etc., etc., because it's not efficient for me to come up here and pull all this apart. So, you know, maybe my plan to make a, you know, science build that I can, you know, edit you know, that stuff onto, maybe that's a bad idea. And actually it's better to have a separate one that I then, um, you know, I just leave to run out of resources. Maybe that's a better way of doing it. But say so that's all the sort of stuff we're going to work out. Right, if we go with the fluid handling. Uh, so we're going to need engines for things like um, you know, uh, well, the things that use engines. It's not actually going to be that many. Um, and here again, look, we've already got these backed up. Is that too many labs? Is that not enough labs? Should I do a lab research speed? Uh, all the questions I don't have answers for. What I'm thinking I do now is basically um, bump up the actual these types of things. So the you know the actual thing, because one of the things I, I realised after the stream yesterday as well is that this is in the way now. So really, and like that's better than that because I'm gonna have to pick that up. Whereas that one I can just incorporate into a design. So effectively, positioning of these, you know, is an important thing as well. Um, it should be okay. I don't think we will actually have to pick it up because this is sufficiently long, this set of uh, miners, that actually that's not going to matter. Um, I'm hoping, is, is why, you know, that's a massively long belt of miners, basically. Uh, come here. Yeah, so that was going to be copper, wasn't it? So, so that's not ideal. <laughs> uh, what I've done there. So really, if I take that, I'll run out of them again. I should have grabbed some circuits, I guess. Okay, uh, yeah, so this would be... Bing, bong, bing, bing. So we get all of these sort of going. I wouldn't norm I don't normally play like this. I normally try and do them at a slow and steady sp speed, but I sort of assume that um I mean I'm I guess I'm sufficiently au fait with the uh, you know, the tech tree and what to make and how to make it that hopefully it will sort of be okay. But yeah, it is it is easy to get sort of lost in the tech tree, I think. Uh, if I just side, because I've just cut off all the resources. How do we do that? Right. Did I make them? No. Okay. So these are the coppers. 
So we'll, we'll make all of these while it's while I'm chunking away on a load of res you know red and green research. Um, is my thought process. Uh, yeah, so we can pick a couple up, you see. But yeah, you see, if I built these sideways, or, you know, vertically rather, not sideways, I have built them sideways, which, I sh you know, I would have been better doing it vertically, I think, because then I could either incorporate them into the design or just left them, because I, I don't think we really need, you know, to tap that side of the patch, because I'm going to tap the other... Uh, iron ore patch uh, for steel which is the other thing I really want to get around to in this stream right so we've got now four things if I make a bit of room that's not enough room is it we will stick in a balancer, just because, as I say, if I don't want a situation where it does run out, basically. Um, that's wrong. Uh, and hopefully I won't make the error I made on the Makerbase stream, where I essentially made a balancer that didn't balance. So those two, those two, those two, those two, and then the end ones. Right. Uh, let me hook this up properly. Like so. So we should have four lanes of iron, you know, ready to rumble, as it were. Obviously, it's not actually there, but that's fine. Uh, we'll now stick the coal in and the copper. Uh, if I pick these up, am I going to explode my inventory? No, okay. Uh, let's put it there, that should be okay. Don't think we need four... Well, I think we need four lanes for across all of the iron and copper. These are overlapping. I, on the map, I'm pretty sure it showed they weren't. Um... Or, I just didn't really look at it properly, which is a very distinctly, very distinct possibility. For some reason I am still, I don't, I don't know what's going on with this cold, it seems to just never end. Um, it's like this, this, you know, I've just thrown that in there, it's just a complete mess, but uh, we need to do something a bit, a bit more elegant than that really. Or the power pulse, you know, when I... you know, Because I'm pretty sure we are going to end up just doing... Wooden power poles. It's a bit of a waste of steel, I think. To... Well, here you go. I've just, you know, I've set this up and that's wrong. Because, you know... We do need to add co um, stone in. But I'm not going to do it until we sort of need it. Because what I'm thinking with the fourth lane of coal is we actually go down, go down as it were. In fact, we could do that with this one. Hang on a minute. Ah. So really, I should have started those a little bit further over because this is going to be a bit thin. It's okay. Yeah, hopefully this patch should, you know, it'll basically last us for the entire run. Um, so if we'll be able to come back and sort of edit it, you know, without the um, without the problem that there's then no resources to, you know, stick miners on. <laughs> um, grab them. You can always grab them off the belt as well, I guess. There. Missed. Quite good. No, no, no. Power. Uh, 
Yeah, as I say, I don't seem to be able to sort of shake this cold. It seems to be... In some ways, getting worse. Right, so that's still a bit of a problem. Oh, it's at the top. Okay. Okay. So it should be... Yeah, right. So really, these should be like that. Okay. And then this is the... Oh. This is the one up here. Okay. Okay. Like that. Because we'll need coal for plastic as well, you see. Which is why I'm tapping quite so much of it. I don't think we need it all for smelting. <coughs> now. Now. Look at the mess I've made here. So, if we... Hmm. If we perhaps... Have that one... And that one... Going across to the copper and then these two are for the iron go and make some more of both of them So green is well stacked back, isn't it? But then, I think that's a longer one to process, isn't it? So, maybe that's part of it. Did I ever put some greens in a chest? I didn't, did I? Yeah, so I say we need to plow on towards the whole oil processing situation. I didn't actually seem to get that many belts. Maybe it needs a fast inserter. Yeah, it needs more fast inserters. Might just hand make a bit of everything there. We'll have to come again the belts quite soon because um didn't actually get that many of them. Uh yeah, we'll probably chuck another in fact can I just get rid of a lot of this coal now? Uh yeah, we'll chuck another in uh, balancer in. Here. But yeah, I mean, this is another classic example of, you know, I'm having to delete this in order to put something in that when we do the proper run, I will know, you know, ugh. That it needs to be there, basically. So get out of it. Yeah. So that you know, I won't be a. That is right, isn't it? So we're balancing those two. We're balancing those two. We're then balancing the output of those two once. Balancing the output of those two twice. So we've got. We've got A B C D. So we've got A B, A B C D C D. So that becomes A, B, C, D on those two. That becomes, because that's A, B and that's C, D. A, B, C, D on those two. 
and that prevents any throughput issues. Okay. So we can put the copper in now as well. Like that. I like so. I probably won't do any lane balancing. It's one of my favourites is lane balancing, but I'm kind of assuming that sort of not really needed for this. So I need four going this way. Whoops. Oh, so you're out of out of belt already. To some extent, I guess it wouldn't matter that much if there was coal on this, because they'll just grab... It's all going into smelting, but... I certainly don't... You see what I mean? So, you know... If those were one tile over, I could just flip them around and they would run until their stuff run out, and I wouldn't have to bother... Emptying them out in quite the same way. Let's go and get some more belt. We have to pick some of these up, actually. So that's that one there. Except it shouldn't be. It should be that one. And that should be that one. And then some more here. Yeah, okay. Let's go and get that extra belt that it's hopefully made a bit more speedily. I mean, we could certainly support more labs, couldn't we? They're not getting through that at any sort of... Any sort of speed that's an issue, so we'll definitely chuck some more on because obviously we'll have the, you know, we're not going to be producing iron and iron um, um, hmm. you know, gold and purple at any sort of rate, but we might as well blast through the red and green sciences as quick as we can. I think I'd rather the labs were sort of way ahead of where I am. Might even then afford the luxury of, you know. Oh, I didn't put that on. Luxury of a few sort of quality of life ones or something, you know, maybe lab speed or something would be a good one to sort of fill fill the gap with, maybe. Right, let's get some those in. Or optics or something like that, so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so we will need to do stone, but I'm going to leave it for a bit. I don't know that those will saturate the belts, but hopefully that won't be an issue. We'll leave that one for now. And I was going to finish off the coal as well, wasn't I? Yeah. Oops. Because I'm sort of thinking with this is we sort of use use it as offshoot, off-run, basically. So if we ever get to the stage where we are using all of the coal that I'm bringing in, um, then we might have to rethink it a bit. But uh, what we can also do is essentially, instead of having the coal just sat there sort of waiting 
the slots to, you know, fill up. Uh, on the belts, you know, we can have the rest going basically over to plastic. I, say, I, I suspect this is probably effectively overkill, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so if we, say, think of these as two lanes coming in. I'll probably, I'll try and use some priority splitters. Uh, to sort of top it back up again effectively and then the rest as I say goes over to over to plastic oops so I need that one in Oops, 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 oops. It's in the wrong place. Let's get the belt. <coughs> or rather, let's get the... So I can make some of them by hand. I think I've got a lot enough stuff, but we'll grab the belts because it's all full up now. I might increase that actually. Right, so I'll chuck these in. Pop these in. Like so. Julio, have you got it now? Nice. Right, so, oops. Yeah, so we'll I say we'll put some. Um, oh, I copied that wrong, pasty. Uh, priority splitters on, you know, to try and ensure that, yeah, it's definitely going to feed these first. And then we'll use these as, like, top-ups. Uh, so maybe something like this. Left, out the left. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And if it all gets used up, you know, we'll have to see about getting some more coal in, but hopefully it'll be okay. I mean, I may need more, you know, more smelting. I don't know. Uh, uh, oops. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, I'm not. I'm not planning on having four lanes. So. I guess we just need to balance this really. So maybe something like that. Not priority one needs. Yeah, so we end up with sort of maybe two lanes ish going over to plastic. Okay.
when everything's absolutely stuffed here. So seems like we probably need to do more production rather than add more material on. So what do we actually want to make? I mean, we need some pump jacks for which we need steel. We need oil refineries and chemical plants for which we need steel. I'm sort of assuming those are better produced by hand because we just need some to do some, you know, stuff. We don't so there's no point machine producing them, but these also need stone brick, don't they? Which I'm not making at all. Okay. So let me just pause it effectively and think about that. So So let's have, let's have a little bit of a think. So, <clears throat> say so it's oil processing we need to get done. We could have advanced materials and because that leads to, you know, the concrete and other things that we need. But what we really need to do is focus on get getting the blue science, basically, um, which is advanced circuits, plastic, sulfur. Uh, needs doing. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, just blowing my nose, which is a bit much for the stream, I think, but um, but yeah. So say it's the the whole you know thing everyone struggles with really the the whole chemical science, but before I can even make any of that, I need pump jacks and pump jacks need steel and they're the only, that's the only thing I've not really set up or well, stone brick as well, but we've got the array for that so that sh that wouldn't be too difficult to put in, so it's the steel we need to do. And that's tapping the other the other patch. So we need lots of belts because that's miles away. So yeah, so we need to go and do steel. Once it's done the plastic, I can get it to do sulfur and advanced circuits. So we can stack because plastic is quite expensive, that's why it's taken a while. And that's expensive as well. So they'll both chunk away happily while we're doing it. That's quite cheap, isn't it? But we need sulfur as well. Yeah, so we got chemically sciences. And I have to do batteries as well, don't I? Chemically sciences that uh, we can get it working on. And if all of those done before I've done any steel, then I guess we can move on to, you know, the this branch of it, basically the... Oh, no, I've done that, haven't I? But yeah, we could start maybe getting down the product, you know, prod production, uh, prod science, because that obviously needs electric furnaces and rail, which is stone and stone brick. It's going to be slightly ironic, ironic actually, because we're not we're going to make <laughs> do that, re that research simply in order to do purple research. I'm not actually going to put down a single uh, electric furnace. I don't think. But yeah, that's another reason to do the stone brick, because we need them. And in fact, thinking about it, the stone brick will almost be a direct feed for them, because that's literally the only thing we're going to be making that needs stone brick. Is that right? Oh, we'll have to see, but that, that would make sense. So I was trying to think it through, and it's a weird path through the, the tech tree, really. Right, so um, I say we'll grab some of these, and we want them basically. We've got millions of furnaces, so we should be alright on that front. But now we've got loads of belt, which is say we need to make the. Oh, hello, Grim. How are you doing? How's your Sunday going? Uh, where are we going? So, say so the plan is to tap this for steel and use that coal or well it might, it might be easy just to take that off because looking at the distributions basically 
it might be easier because we can go that way for coal and tap that if we need to. Oh, that was sooner than I expected. Uh, so let's do the sulfur. Yeah, let's see how big this steel is going to be. What do you think? How's your day been? It's been okay. It's sort of flown by, to be honest with you. I've um, almost not even noticed the day. Um, it's been one of those sorts of mornings, really, where I've kind of not done very much, but you know, it's you know, it's taken all day. It's sort of a bit, a bit strange. I think it's not actually a big patch. Is that going to matter? Uh, yeah. We will use this one for steel. Yeah. The more I think about this, it would have been better to tap that one for the power. Even though it's a bit further away. But what we can do just now... Oops. Just grab that... Because it doesn't need a lot of coal to run. Run the steam turbines. Right, put you in there. Like that. Like that. Bit of power here. Uh, don't Sundays go fast because you're trying to get stuff done before work. Yeah, it's um, I find I use it actually mostly. I use Sunday to sort of catch up with things rather than uh, do new stuff. Yeah, it's not a lot of coal actually. There actually. Um, So maybe if we put the... Hmm. I'm thinking we actually put the steel here. So effectively these belts are the wrong way around. But... I then have to run... Because we've got these trees in the way, you see. Hmm... hmm. Yeah, I tend to sort of try and catch up with things, so I go through, like, all my emails and stuff. As in, like, personal emails, not work emails or anything like that. But, but yeah, I always sort of chug through, you know, the combination of spam and <laughs> uh, personal emails and stuff that I've got and reply to family and, friend and all that, friends and all that sort of stuff. Um, oh, I've run out. I thought I grabbed a load of them. You know, put things on my, in my diary and all that sort of stuff. Um, I would say that's why I also do. So when I do the like the thumbnails for me um, YouTube videos and stuff like that, I always do them on a Sunday morning. So it's uh, a lot of random tasks that you don't think are going to take very long, but actually take ages. Um, so I say, by the time I sort of get them done, usually, usually it's time to start the stream, sort of thing. Um, that way, there you go. Two young kids, my Sundays are always chaos. <laughs> yeah, kids is never um, never good on a, a weekend, is it? Because it's like um, you've got to keep them entertained and busy as well as um, as well as uh, do all the stuff you need to do. See, so, yeah, if we run. 
I'm kind of trying to think what the easiest way is. It's a lot of belt, this. Oops. What the easiest way of getting it down is. I assume they're too young for you to start the one Factorio or something. Because uh, <laughs> that's probably uh, a good way of keeping them busy. <laughs> I was watching it. I I wasn't watching it, but there's like a random a random video I got served on YouTube, and it was a uh, a quite a young quite a young kid actually um, live streaming Factorio. I you know I didn't I didn't watch it as such, but it was just um, I mean he knew what he was doing. It wasn't you know it wasn't you know, his dad or something actually playing it. It was him playing it. But uh so I only watched sort of five minutes, but but it made me feel really old. <laughs> because it was like, oh my god. I don't think I'd have uh, been able to understand stand this at that sort of age really. Uh. Right, yeah, so if we bring this four lanes down what does that mean in terms of... Oh. So it's not too bad with the number of trees I got to kill. Yeah, okay. And I need some uh, power poles and stuff. Three dollars being helping me with giving streamers pro tips. <laughs> they go, I mean, they call them, I, well, I think it's not, I think it's like the previous generations. Um, I don't actually know how, how old you are, but. Uh, they call them digital natives nowadays, don't they? Where um, basically, you know, kids basically get like you know mobile phones and stuff now. Um, you know, before they're well, I mean, mine—they're uh, not technically my nephews and nieces, but um, my sister's partner's kids are um, one of them's only eight. Um, and he's had a smartphone for years, and I think the other ones, when she was ten, she got a laptop. Um, and it's just it's just the norm, you know. I think I was. When am I? How old was I when I got my first laptop? Because back then, it, I mean, this is twenty odd year years ago, so it would have been twenty. I think it was 25? It was after university. And it cost me about two grand. Um, it was like... Um, and I say, it was sort of... Um, I say, I mean, when I was at university, sort of internet was still modems, you know. It was um, dial-up modem. Um, and you basically had to go to the, the library to actually access the internet because obviously you could do it at, in your dorm room but you had to pay for that you know that modem and it cost per minute to get you know <laughs> a text file that took 10 minutes to download you know right so I say we'll do the other that, that was quicker than I thought but then I have put in a load of extra laps uh, if we do advanced circuits then Because we definitely need that. Yeah, so. Get rid of all of this.
first phone was an uh, Artito, I think at 16 it would display a massive two lines of text. So my first up to date uh, concept was um, a console rather was the PS1 when I was 17. I think you must be a little bit older than me now. I got PlayStation 1 when I was at uni, so I would have been. When did I go to uni? Oh, it's the year 2000, basically, that I graduated. So, I would have been 21 then, wouldn't I? So, yeah, it must have been, yeah, a couple of years. Um, other way around. Yeah, I think it was 19 when I got a PlayStation 1. Yeah, ever so slightly. Do you, uh, well, I, uh, yeah, I just try to think, because I, I got, I got a PlayStation 1 when it launched, I think, basically, I didn't get it second hand or anything, but that was kind of my first console, I didn't, I did, when I was growing up, I didn't have a NES or a SNES or any of these, um, well, SNES was at about the same time as that PlayStation 1, but, um, yeah, I didn't have, you know, a NES or... We had an Atari 2600, uh, but that was my dad's from when he was, you know, when he was younger, before we were born, basically, me and my sister. Um, but yeah, I was mostly... Uh, well, call it PC, but, you know, Spectrum, Amiga, um, Am uh, Amstrad, uh, you know, computing. The excuse being the classic that, you know, get it for homework, get it for schoolwork. <laughs> and then I just, you know, play games on it, basically. Um, or Formula One, whatever it would have been, 97 or something. Um, that sort of stuff. Um, but I did, I, did, I did learn to program a bit of basic on it, so... Wasn't a totally invalid excuse. I'm just trying to think what how I actually want to do this steal, because basically... Oh, you can change in them. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, you can actually change the map view in the background. Interesting. Because I haven't been putting radars down. So it's whether or not I've got... I don't think it'll be in the... Oh, here we go. There you go. So if we flip that over... That should work for the steel. So if we put it down here somewhere and have, I'm kind of anticipating four lanes of steel. I haven't got a balance on these, have I? I'm going to need a ridiculous amount of belt, so this may not be a a good thing. Actually, I can't use those, can I? Because it's steel. I say that I could do. Could I? I mean, I could do the, yeah, I'll just do the feed across. It's not very elegant, but yeah, let's do that. So, uh, so what we can do is basically, no, don't want to delete my power pump. So if this is the iron plate coming down here, and this is coal, Uh, then we should be able to feed it in. Uh, 
like that. It might get a little... I have to be careful, because we can't put that in until there's any iron plate there. With this way of doing it. The other option is I could just take all of the iron plate and feed it into a separate... In fact, that's probably better, isn't it? Because it's... I mean, we're basically going to get, like, one... Uh, trouble is, I can't... We need to get a load of belt anyway. So we'll go and copy and paste. Oh, I've got a load of copper in my inventory. Um, that strategy is how most kids got a PS2. Mum, Dad, it's a DVD player. Yeah, I remember. I, I, I say, I was... Um, I mean, I was a skint student by the time PS2 was a thing. Um, I mean, I won't, I won't go into detail, but... Um, family circumstances change, shall we say. And I was not a spare cash. At that point, that exact point. Um, so, I, you know, I'd never even sort of considered getting a, a PS2. But my mate James had one. And that's exactly what he did. He was like, um, it's a DVD player, you know. And then it just sat in his his room. <laughs> Rather than being the family DVD player, it was uh, his game, game console then. Yeah, I remember that strategy. Uh, right, so we need uh, like a billion belts, give or take. I lost my train of thought now. So, what was I coming down here to get? Copy. Oh, I was coming down here to copy this. That's what we can do. So we can take this because we know that produces a lane of iron. And then effectively feed it in to a bunch of steel smelters. Uh, what should we do next? Let's do, say, batteries. So you can effectively take the output from these lanes of iron plate and feed it into some smelters for steel. Steel is just bonkers in this game, really, when you really think about it. I say it was... Um, an absolute killer with the, the mega base. Yeah, so basically then, this iron plate... Because we know this is a lane, assuming there's enough iron gets down here. But we can then... If we can find it again... There we go. Feed it into another set of these. So you're lined... Oh, no, I put the in, in belt on a different one each time. Okay. On a different axis, as it were. Like that. Oops. Keep doing the undo and thinking I've got bots to help me out. So that then becomes the input. And we'll probably feed in another, a different set of coal here. Oh, I forgot to turn it around, didn't I? So if we just do that. There we go. Different set of coal coming in there. Yeah, okay. Right, let's put... Have I only got 40 power bars? Okay. Let's just make as many of them as we can. I mean, there's... I don't really... I have a... You know, thinking about old technologies and firsts and stuff. I am... Um, because my, I say, circumstances were such at university that I ended up uh, living at home and driving in uh, in my third year. Because I basically couldn't afford any kind of accommodation. Um, but back then, petrol wasn't <laughs> wasn't the utterly ridiculous price it is now. It was only like, I don't know, 60p a litre or something. Don't. Yeah. 
you know, it's like a third of the price it is now. So it was basically cheaper to uh, to drive in, and because it was third year, a lot of time was on um, project time, so I could do that at home. And when it got to exam season, of course, I could revise at home and all that sort of stuff. So I say did that, but parents got a bit worried that I was driving, you know basically down the A2 uh, every day so they got me a mobile phone um, and it was one of these original I'm not sure it wasn't the original 3210 but it was the you know the first sort of wave of proper consumer mobile you know phones not the gigantic brick phones from the 1980s but you know it was sort of well, it's, I mean, the form factor of phones hasn't really changed a lot, and it's, um, when you think about it, it's sort of obvious why. You know, phones haven't, I mean, they get, the the they're bigger nowadays than they used to be, but it's because the, um, basically it's an er ergonomic constraint, because the distance from your um, ear to your hand is like, you know, for the most, for most people, is about the same. So you can't, and that's why, I mean, that's, you used to have flip phones as sort of a, a solution to that, but... Um, but yeah, so the phone's, phone was actually smaller than my current smartphone. Um, but I remember having it and basically being the only one with a mobile phone at university. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that nowadays? Being the only, you know, student basically with a mobile phone. I think if you took took their mobile phone away from most people nowadays, they'd just probably collapse. <laughs> but then, it's kind of, society's gone that way as well. There's a lot of stuff you can't, can't really do if you haven't got a mobile. All this will probably this won't even produce one lane of steel, but hopefully it'll be enough for what we need. I'm kind of guessing it's massive overkill. This I'm guessing I probably don't need anything like this amount of steel, um, but I say I don't really know. And we're out there again. You need six years steel smelter arrays to feed 5k base. Each produces four full belt blue belts. 14 of those going to purple science. Yeah, it's purple sciences. I'm not sure they balance that properly, really. Um, because the fact that it needs. Um, I always forget. It's like 30 rail, isn't it? Which is just nuts. It's like. I mean, that's. Whoops punch me out of the way then um, yeah I mean if you're making you know as you, well like, as you know making 5,000 a minute uh, it's just belts and belts and belts of railway because unless you direct direct feeding of course you know um, uh, because obviously you know blue belt is only 45 isn't it so that's only really enough for three machines. Uh, you know, setting aside odd bonuses and all that sort of stuff. So are you still are you still full twelve belt on your mega base? I'd be fascinated to see uh, to see it, to be honest with you, because you're using a, a town approach, aren't you? Uh, not a town approach, a uh, city block, sorry. Driving at 85p a litre. I remember, because um, I I used to basically have to ferry my sister around everywhere when I learnt to drive. That was that became my job was basically because <laughs> she let she I went to school. I could have walked to school, you know, 
um, and she, but she went to some technical college that was this is secondary school obviously uh, she went to some technical college that was like way over the other side of town um, it was a good good college actually but um, but yeah it, it sort of my parents basically just decided they couldn't be bothered to <laughs> drive her every morning and and back home so that became my job um, and so I got I got uh, it was basically inherited from my granddad when he died but his um, his car and um, and he um, and basically they would give me like a pound every week with a extra petrol to, to you know to take my sister to and from school sort of thing um so it was it was and that was that was fairly generous actually because obviously it's five days it was it wasn't a long distance but you know it was a, a reasonable sort of distance but a pound wouldn't even buy you a liter of petrol nowadays um right so we've done batteries these are going quicker than i thought they would actually but as I say I did add a load of a load of stuff. So far, how far up do I want to get? And we obviously need to do blue science. So we might as well do that. That's going to be the next big job setting that up. But say I need steel and stone brick before I can even attempt them. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is. The time I'm spending on doing this, I think it's massive overkill. I, I think maybe like half a lane of steel is probably going to do us or something. Um, but yeah, we shall see. We shall see. I say that's what we can do. Once we got to the point of launching a rocket, it'll then be a case of saying, well, turned out we didn't really need all that steel. So we'll cut some of that back and... Um, actually we needed more iron plate rather than steel or whatever and we'll do all that sort of refinement then oops right I bet I need more of them don't I uh, right. What did it do? See, that's gone really quick. What moment are you when you leave your phone at home? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, kind of becoming essential for. In fact, actually, I I wish my company would get us mobile phones for you know as in company mobile phones because now that we're you know we're working at home. 90% of the time I have to use my personal mobile for work and claiming back phone calls is almost impossible because obviously I'm on a plan where basically I mean it's data that costs money rather than you know rather than phone calls really and so how the hell do you calculate the fraction of a fraction of a penny that a phone call has cost you for claiming expenses and then it's like okay well there's no real point claiming it because i'm sort of getting it for free ish but i'm having to pay you know 35 quid a month for the privilege so it's like you know it'd be much better if the company just gave us you know even if it was just a cheap piece of rubbish or not, not even a smartphone maybe but um so yeah it's a bit a bit cheeky i think that what they're doing with that um but yeah so it's sort of become essential for work for you to have one I say, but a lot of companies won't stump stump up for paying for a company mobile phone. Which, considering the deals they must be able to get, is a bit bit off, if you ask me. Right, so oh, you need flam. Oh, I guess flammables make sense because rocket fuel. But yeah, I was saying earlier on, I, the fact you don't need rocketry for to fly up to build a rocket <laughs> seems a bit weird to me right so i'm gonna have to get a load of copper as well because i need a lot more 
power poles, but we can at least... Whoops. Okay. Oh. oh, is that all the power I've got? Blimey. Hmm. I guess I can hand make a little bit. Slowly getting it together, I can show you a rough planning thingy I've got. Down creative. Uh, you have Discord. I do, technically... <laughs> Discord is something I've never really kind of engaged with properly, if I'm totally honest. Um, there's a guy who used to... Um, I say guy, was a, a kid really, as it turned out. But um, he's actually set up... There's te Technically, there's a, a, a Discord for this, um, for, for me, for a, as a streaming thing. Um, but I do, I do have a personal Discord as well, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Um, Maybe if you send me, you can send me a direct message on Twitch, can't you? And I can look up what my Discord is. I mean, it's basically it's Trismegistus, but you have to have the number as well, I think, don't I? Um, I had thought about like because I have I have the domain name, you know, the website domain name and stuff. Um, actually, creating a, a sort of proper website. We need a load of those, don't we? Um. And integrating the Discord into that, and that might get me then to even to look at it. <laughs> so I'm, I don't know why. I mean, Reddit. I use Reddit a lot because um, I used to be. Um, well, for, uh, forums were kind of my, you know, when I, you know, when the internet was, when I first got broadband and all that sort of stuff. It was forums I always used to hang out on. And. Discord is sort of forums, but it's more like a Usenet group, really, I think. Um, was always my perception of it. But, uh, but yeah, so... Oh, yeah, we are chunking through there, aren't we? So, we need advanced electronics, I guess? Must do, yeah, because you need rocket silo. But I can't, can I? Because I haven't got blue science. <sighs> Oh, we need modules. We need modules. Yeah, I definitely... This is, like, massive overkill. Yeah. Okay. We'll just keep going, though, as I say. I'm not actually too fussed if I... You know, if it takes... 30 hours or whatever. It shouldn't, but... Because we don't actually need to make that many purple science. I need to steal more. Oh, and then I've run out of them. Crikey. I need to steal more to make, you know, pump jacks and stuff. Yeah, as I say, forums were sort of my hangout, really, rather than, um, you know, sort of, say, the Usenet group. So that's sort of, structurally, that's what I'm happier with, in a sense. Um, so say, something like Reddit. I kind of don't need to work out what's going on. But Discord, it's the way, the problem I have with understanding it really is the way it lays everything out because everything's in threads effectively. Turn, turn, I did, I turned the bloody fan off. And so I find it difficult to follow because everything's just like laid out linearly. The phone app's better. But uh Oh, crikey. I guess it's just what you're used to, isn't it, really? Right. Why is that not... Oh, I guess because I didn't connect it over. Okay. So both of those should now be turned on? Okay. 
Okay. So hopefully some iron plate will start coming down. Uh, iron, iron plate, iron ore will start coming down. I keep forgetting I've not put any radars on anything. That one's missing. Okay, so I'll fill this in, so hopefully that should now be good. So much coal. <clears throat> uh, can't place blueprint string here either. It's over the limit. Oh yeah, of course. Is that even in... I mean, you know, if you send me a... Is it called a whisper? I think they call it like a direct message. Does that include that? Because I know you won't be able to post it in the chat. Um... But um, we can we can sort we can sort something out. So if you just ping me a direct message, I can give you my tell you my Discord name. It's just I don't know what it is basically, because uh, so I'm pretty sure you need the number. Oh, I've done that again. Um, I don't know. You may be able to search for me. I guess I don't know. What am I after? I'm after some basic stuff. So we want a bit of that. Bit of that. We also want. I don't have a chest with copper on it. Where would be a good place to put that? If we try and sneak that in there. Like that. There should be a green circuit one already somewhere. But just obviously grab. Belt for a bit. So that's modules, so we need definitely need prod modules. Oh wait, aren't they blue science? Oh no, it's okay. Let's grab some from the belt as well. Uh, make a bunch of them. Grab some of them and them. Am I gonna have enough? Furnaces. Let's just make a bunch more. In fact, let's make all the furnaces. Uh, make some power piles as well. Cool. I don't. You see, I mean the the. The website idea was kind of tied to, because I started live streaming after having done, been doing YouTube videos for, for, for a couple of years actually, um, and basically getting nowhere. <laughs> this discoverability on YouTube is basically like non-existent. Um, you know, you are literally one of millions. Even if you're playing, you know, relatively niche games. Not that, you know, I minded as it were. It was just a case of, you know, it just became a case of, well, what's what's the point, really? Um, uh, particularly, and I said this on some of my Mega Base series, but I found editing to be really, really time consuming and not actually that much fun. I always thought editing would be something I would enjoy. But then in reality it just turned out to be like really tedious in a way that I wasn't expecting. Um Which side is the coal going to be on? Uh, let's 
hook another one on. Because on the inside on one side, on the outside on the other, isn't it? Um, can I do that? I can't without chemical. I can do that, though, which I think I also need, because we need them for RCUs. Yeah. Because that's going to be on. That's the wrong way around, isn't it? So, do I need to bother doing this? Could just do a one of those guys, couldn't I? And set it to coal. Oh, can you not put filters on? For both sides. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, so I did uh, try it out. That you, you know, doing YouTube videos. Um. say thinking that you you know editing would be something I would enjoy but then discovering that I really didn't <laughs> and it was like um oh part of that though I think was because um uh Adobe for, well uh, Premiere is just atrocious basically what am I trying to achieve here That goes down to there now. Yeah, so Premiere's an a, a awful bloody program. Or I found it to be that way anyway. I forgot what point I was making then. But, oh, sorry, so... Um, that would be what the website would be about. And essentially it would be, you know, if I was to do some YouTube content that maybe had you know involved making blueprints or something like that I could post them on the on that website uh, we're running out of things that don't need blue that we can research let's go and have a look at the full tree and yeah and sort of you know integrating the discord into that and people could post in it and all that sort of stuff um because everything we need to make now the next ones requires blue but i haven't even set up steel yet this steel is clearly over overkill because um the amount of time it's taking. What would, what could we do that might be a useful red green science? I guess we could do that so I can chop trees down quicker. Don't I need that? Oh, I do. So we'll do that. Why was that not in the? Oh, it is. It's all the way up here though. Oh, we need knights. Okay. And we need solar panels. Huh. Oh, and all of them. Why is that then? That one feeds into what? Like, oh, of course. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't look into the white science. I need the... There we go. Yeah, so we need the rail stuff, basically. Or we need rail. We don't really need it signals or anything like that, though. <coughs> Yeah, so we can do these three. So advanced materials, rail, and uh, concrete. Okay. Maybe then I'll leave. If I leave, uh, which side is it on? It's going to be on the 
inside. So that side, okay. I won't actually set these up then, we'll just have one going on and see if that's enough. Putting the belt on the wrong way around. Wow. <laughs> I think if you try, um, oh, I can't remember. I don't, I've clearly not, well, there's like a MooBot set up, uh, and, a, you know, attached the channel, but, um, I, I've, well, I don't know if you have to, well, I, don't, I just don't know, I, I've clearly done something wrong somewhere, um, because it basically never does anything, um, you know, I've never seen it do a, do an auto mod or anything like that, so, um, I've clearly not, not done something right. Um, uh, yeah, I don't... I never really, so I don't generally um, kind of do a lot of that stuff myself. So, I, you know, um, you know, in terms of using those, I mean, they're commands basically, aren't they? But so, I mean, to be totally, I mean, going more fundamental statement, I'm not, I'm relatively new to Twitch full stop. Um, so I've, um, not done a lot of. I can't explain this on the Meg one of the Mega Base series. Live streaming was something I never really thought. Well, it never even like occurred to me as being a thing. If you see what I mean. Um, the massive growth of it, popularity of it, etc., etc., was like almost completely took took me by surprise that it would be something people would. You know, be so engaged with, so enjoy so much, etc., etc., etc. Not meaning that in any sort of. I'm sending this this way. This is dumb, isn't it? Because I'm probably going to be right in the way. What we should actually do is send it along here. Hmm. Like this, and then we can effectively treat it as a, you know, part of the bus. Hmm. Let's do that one. I think we're then out of sciences we can do, which is clearly not great. So the risk with this is I'm chopping, I'm basically chopping off, you know, the bus. We're sort of now building at the end of it, but this is quite a distance. But it's actually proving to be, because we're not, actually not even halfway through the time. Considering all the mistakes I've made, well, like this, I'm picking all this up. I wonder how how, how much refinement this is all going to need, actually. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Or learning. Yeah, so, I mean, it was... Um, I kind of started the stream, you know, started streaming. Again... Uh, over on YouTube. I, I thought I'd give it a go over there because basically when the 
So I had a series going Stardew Valley, which, you know, I was saying about nobody watching, but I mean, I think everyone's, <laughs> um, you know. It's not exactly original st streaming Stardew Valley. I mean, I absolutely adore the game, so. And it was never, I never did it for views. I so said, I almost, I was almost doing it as a sort of a, I thought I would really enjoy editing. And so maybe as a sort of a career change type of thing, you know, I would see see about taking actual course in doing editing and stuff. And then, as I say, I found it really a bit um, annoying. And I said, whether that's because I Premiere is just, a, you know, a pig that I hate, basically. Um, and that's the prime reason I found it awful. I suspect it probably is, because um, it's just a... How the heck Adobe stuff has become like industry standard in so many industries, I don't know, because Photoshop is powerful, but again, it's just a awful piece of software, really. And the fact they keep breaking stuff on it is just unbelievably annoying. Just want to check that this is hooked up, because I think, I have a feeling that this may be all the steel we need. This, you see, where it doesn't really get down to the bottom and these aren't running. This is why I never do this approach, because it doesn't actually flow through properly. Um, and it should do, the numbers should work, but it never actually works properly. Let's get some of these on the go. So, which is where I never do that style of smelting, basically. I know people love it, but... I don't think it works properly. Right. Yeah, so we need to set up stone brick. Which is basically exactly the same blueprint, but that's not a problem. We at least know what we're doing. So I'll just do one of these. I probably don't even need a full one of these. Um, and we'll take it over... Excuse me, the other side... Don't think I really finished that train of thought, did I? <laughs> Where I got to, though. Um, but yeah, I, I tried streaming on YouTube first, and I say, no, I mean, nobody watched, like nobody. Um, so it's like, well, you know, is that a surprise? I mean, YouTube isn't really for. I've put that exactly the same issue, haven't I? Why have I done that? The proper run may well be me me being a bit silent, if I'm honest, because <laughs> doing the whole talking thing, it might be a bit too much for me to do this quickly as well. But yeah, so so I tried steam run over there, nobody watched. And I was like, well, is that a surprise? Not I, In fact, even then I put it in line with the steel, haven't I? Yeah, what a plonker. I see. Is that a surprise? You know, is you know, is YouTube really that you know good for streaming? Full stop. So I'll give Twitch a go because it was. I say it was the pandemic that kind of killed it. So I had a Stardew Valley street series running, and um, and I kept going during the during the whole lockdown, and then it just occurred to me that no one was watching. I wasn't really enjoying doing editing. So maybe I should try live streaming instead. Because then I'm at least playing games I enjoy. Getting to rabbit away like I always do. Um, but then at least I don't have to do any editing. <laughs> um, I need to get back to it to be honest with you. I've, I have been like, you know, watching tutorials and stuff trying to learn because I was doing I was doing everything horribly basically but say Photoshop's just oh sorry 
well, all of Adobe's products are just so awful. But, you know, without somebody actually teaching you how to use them, you just end up doing everything really badly. And to me, that's the sign of bad software. You know, if it's not intuitive, easy to pick up, tutorials integrated into it where it needs to be. Adobe could learn a lot from the games industry, actually, because gaming's had to do, you know, tutorialization, you know, unobtrusive tutorialization and all that sort of stuff for decades. And so they're pretty, pretty damn good at it in a general sense. Well, lots of good examples to follow anyway. But I guess they just assume you've, you know, done a degree or whatever in, you know, art or, or whatever. So, yeah, so I uh, started streaming and people have actually watched <laughs> on Twitch, um, which has been really, really great, to be honest with you. I've really enjoyed doing the Mega Base series, even though it, it did get a bit of a grind at the end, but. Um, one of the ones that's been really surprising actually was the Dyson Sphere program one because um, uh, I think I've sort of fluked into a situation where I'm kind of the only English speaking um, person streaming Twitch particularly on the Monday um, and so kind of people don't have any choice <laughs> <laughs> to watch it um it's my, i mean people don't tend to chat on it which is fine I've never, you know so i'm not the biggest chatter really um when i watch these things myself but um let's just do a horrible horrible one here i guess because we just want to pull off a little bit of a little bit of coal from here i think I've run out of them, have I? Yep, okay. What's the world record? Um, I don't honestly know, but it is in that sort of territory. I, I think it depends on whether you mean... I think it's one. Th it's like one twenty-seven for any percentage. I think it's like really, really short. But in terms of um, uh, I think it's something like that. It's like staggeringly quick. Um, I know they they don't tend to do the any percentage, do they? They'll do the. They tend to do the. I can't remember which one they do. I lose track, to be honest with you, because they're... I actually find the Factorio speedruns a bit difficult to follow, if I'm honest, because they, you know, they've clearly worked out, you know, the perfect way of doing it. Um... What did you do there, you silly man? You know, the perfect way of sort of putting a... Getting to the end of the game. But it means it's become like a set of rote actions and behaviours. Um, and of course, if they're going for the world record. Or any kind of speedrun record. Don't tend to explain a lot. Some of them are quite good. Um, it's like you kind of need to know what they're doing in order to know, you know, what's happening. Have I got enough stone brick? We should be okay there. So, how many of those did I make? So, if I grab some more basics. Uh, do I need them? Not really, but... In fact, I should probably stick a few more. 
Oops. Fast lads on them. But I don't know if I need it. Do I need any more of them? Probably not. What we need is pipe, basically. I'm going to try and get and get the... Oh, did I not set a research going? I didn't, did I? Oh, wrong one. No. It kind of doesn't matter because we need blue, basically. Because we need concrete in order to even build the rocket silo. And I know that takes ages to make, so we kind of need to do concrete fairly soon, in a weird sort of way, just so that we can stack up enough concrete to make the rocket silo itself. And then, are we definitely then at a point where, if I start that, so to make the silo, does everything else, up oh, trains, I need to do railway. Yeah, okay, we, need to do, we can do railway as well. Yeah, we need to grab a load of pipe. And get me, you viewing with a million message. I'm not, I mean, I'm really, I'm really happy you do chat. It's sort of, um, I say I'm not, um, unhappy when people just watch. Um, I mean, they call them, what I don't like is, I mean, you know the term lurker, which has become just like the de facto term that everybody uses. But to me, if you're a lurker, that's not a positive thing to be. You know, that's a not a nice term for somebody, basically. Um, maybe I'm just old fashioned in that, as it were, in that way. But I don't know, it doesn't seem like a nice phrase to be using for someone who's, you know, um, watching you stream again, but I say it seems to have become the default term, really. Um, let's see if I can get all of these sort of lined up somewhere fairly decent. Um, but yeah, you know, so I'm more than happy if people just want to watch, you know. Um, it's like, I mean, some people do actually watch the live streams on YouTube, as in, you know, as VODs. Um, And I, I sort of, it occurred to me, because I never really thought about, some people put the actual chat on the screen. I don't really like that. I don't like watching streams where they've done that. Um, I find it a bit too distracting, and you get the whole delay thing. Um, but having, I say, seen that some people do watch VODs on, you know, over on YouTube, um, it makes more sense, you know, because that then allows those people to know what, you know, what the actual chat was that the stream was responding to. Um, let's say, it's, like you said, it's a learning thing. You don't, you don't think about these things, really. But yeah, I'd, I'd quite like to, let's say, give editing another go with the YouTubes. And maybe make some tutorial videos, I think, particularly for this, because I know it so well. Um, but it was also, I say, with the sort of sl so surprise revelation that um, there doesn't appear to be a lot of people creating content for um, Dyson Sphere program. Come on. I thought maybe some, you know, some stuff for that. Might be a nice little niche to hit. Not too many people doing it sort of thing. Particularly now, I think the initial buzz has gone away a little bit. Even though they've introduced a load of stuff on that game. Cool. But yeah, I sort of... Because I, I started the Satisfactory series. The streams. Expecting that to be like more people to watch that because that tends to does that does tend to get quite big numbers. You know, you, you do see quite a lot of people watching that. And I thought, well, maybe one or two will pop by and say hello, and then they basically don't. And it's like, it's, uh, 
you know, it's a strange... I guess because I'm not established in that community, in a sense. Because, uh, as we were saying the other day, wasn't we? But I haven't actually played it since um, since it launched, basically. So I guess other people have been. That's pretty horrible, but whatever. But yeah, they're sort of established, you know... A community and a audience and all that sort of stuff. But I guess that's just not happened with Dyson Sphere program. And I think it's partly because it's it's a Chinese team developing it, and I suspect most of the people watch it, uh, most people playing it, are actually uh, probably Chinese. I would guess. Right, so, uh, we've got that, so what we need to do is get some... I didn't make these, did I? That was silly. Uh, I don't know, let's just stick five in. This is a long way to go for water. Hmm, okay. How much pipe? I've not got very much pipe. Let's nip back and get some more pipe. Biggest thing I like about streaming is the interaction with the host. That's why I tend to watch smaller channels. Yeah. Um, do you? I mean, do you stream yourself? I don't. I never really um, asked. But um, you're just more of a, a sort of viewer, or. It's worth giving a go, I think. It's actually quite fun to to stream. I think I don't think I'd want to stream a game type because you get variety. You know, there's quite a lot of variety streamers, aren't there? I know that a lot of the big big guys are all <coughs> aren't really variety streamers, really. Well, I mean, you know, FPS tends to be the one of the big ones, but they'll stream all sorts of different um, games. A lot of them. And I don't think I'd want to do that because um, uh, what am I after? Pipe. Oh, I should have put that on two, I think. Because um, playing games I'm not familiar with hasn't been has not been. I don't think I'd want to do that. Basically, I think I'd want to. Uh, Stream games I've at least played before, um, which then means basically, because I mean I play all sorts, but really, you know, these are the types of games that I understand. If you see what I mean. Um, can I make? I can make some chemical labs. Okay. Where am I going to put this? So what? What I need to do basically is crack. Well, obviously we don't have advanced oil yet, but we need to make. Uh, stuff for blue science. I'm losing losing the track a bit, to be honest with you. So I need to make blue science. To make blue science, I need sulfur, don't I? And advanced circuits and engines. Okay. So we've now got steel for adva for engines. We've obviously already got the pipes and blah de blah de blah. So we can just make them direct, effectively. This is where, you know, having done loads of red and blue, uh, red and green, blue is just going to be sort of a trickle, really, and I kind of need to work out, uh, you know, because of the gigantic craft time, there's no point in us trying to do one a second or anything like that. So this is like a more uh, what can we actually support with what we're making um, type of situation. So we need sulphur. And advanced circuits, so we need sulfur and plastic. So I was heading over here with some coal. We've got that sort of ready to go. So we basically need because uh, sulfur is duh, duh, duh. sulfuric. No, I don't need sulfuric acid. Do I need sulfur? Okay, so that's a beltable. 
So basically we need a couple of belts coming out, one with sulfur, one with plastic. Okay. Right. So, uh, if this is here, if we take these out, actually. In fact, let's do it backwards. Let's go and find where we would want the... Cause, oh, it's down here. Okay. Where we would want the plastic to... Uh, I don't just like watching and struggle to read on the fly. So, oh, yes, of course. Sorry, you've you mentioned about uh, dyslexia. Oh, that would obviously go that way, not this way. Um, so we're not... Hmm. Yeah, okay, so let's bring one of plastic over. So we copy in them. Okay. And we'll just bring them along here. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we need to end up with sulfur there, basically. Okay. I've no idea, if I'm totally honest, as to whether I need advanced oil or not. Can't get my head around that. Uh, Because I'm not going to need any loot. Oh, I always get the wrong one. But we do need rocket fuel, don't we? Yeah, so we are going to need adv advanced oil. Okay. Did I make five of these? Oops. Okay. Uh, get it lined up properly. Oops. Uh, right. So I guess if we take this over here, and then we have one lab. How much sulfur am I actually going to need? I don't know. Oh, I need water in as well, don't I? Yeah, okay. So, put that there. isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to go a long way for, for water. It's not even powered then. Uh, right, so where the heck is water? All the way down there, blimey. It's got to be down, I guess. It's got those funny results when I start jumping around. Read some proper rude things that aren't really there. <laughs> I know someone who's um, suffers with Tourette's. Um, uh, 
and they, you know, it's one of the, because there are different types of, as I understand it, I'm not an ex, you know, I don't know a lot about it, but um, different types of Tourette's, um, different extremes of it, as it were. But theirs does involve the random swearing. Um, so yeah, you can have it, and it's a, almost like describing there, it's like a, you know, you're having a, oh, hello, Latakia, <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. Um, that actually worked. I'm amazed by that. I mean, worked so. So you should have heard the notification of the thing. But um, I set that up a little while ago, and I wasn't at all sure it was going to work. Hi there. <laughs> Hope you're well. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, I was saying, you know, he um he has Tourette's, and he does do the random swear words, and it's um it's like almost like you're describing there with you know. You're just having a normal conversation with him, and then he'll just say some random swear word, and it's like uh, it's particularly amusing when he is actually swearing, when he's saying, you know, um, he's angry or something, and he's saying that, and it's like, did he mean, you know, did he mean that word or did he not? And it's sort of, um, it's a bit sort of uh, strange, really. But I mean, obviously, you know, it's not you can, yeah, you can't help it. It's uh, it's one of those things, but it's like, uh, say, it's sort of. Um, I mean, you know, he, I, I say that he's fully, he knows it's, you know, um, he doesn't get offended by my saying that sort of thing. He knows, you know, it's a, a funny occurrence when it happens sometimes. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, um, I don't think there's anything else we can do until Blue is up and running. Because we want the rocket silo, obviously. So that's all up gold, and that's blue and purple and blue and purple and blue. Yeah, so we can't do anything else until blue is up and running. So I really need to crack on with that. Which one should we stack up? I guess that would be best, because then we can instantly get like light oil so that we can start making rocket fuel. So we'll have that queued up waiting to go. Uh, is that something you want to born with or does it occur later in life? So Tourette's is, um, it's actually, now I'm probably going to say something that might not be true, but because I would say I'm no, no expert on it at all, but my understanding is it's a, a type of brain damage basically. So I believe it's, um, sort of happens essentially in the womb so i believe it's um something you're born with essentially um but don't quote me on that as i say i mean certainly for him it's been he's had it his entire life um and uh, i say it's um something he was born with essentially but i don't know, maybe you know you can get um particular you know head injury or something that causes it but I say I, I don't i don't know that at all uh, but say, my understanding is it's basically, say from from birth, basically. Uh, yeah, so I'll queue up advanced oil, and then when we've got blue running, which won't be that long, we should hopefully do that within about fifteen minutes or so. That'll kick in, and then we'll be able to start making the you know the solid fuel, so that we can then make the rocket fuel. That's wrong. I need to do railway. We'll do railway. Because we need rail. Even though I'm not going to do any rail, we obviously need it to make the rail for the prod science. So we can do that. But it won't take very long at all. I didn't actually queue that on. <laughs> Brilliant. Where's the railway gone? There it is. Start research. There we go. Uh, right. So we have water coming up, but is it really getting here? Oh, yeah. That's okay. Right. So we want to chuck some of that out. Um, yeah, head injury. I say, I don't. You know, basically, don't don't quote me on that sort of thing. But I say, my understanding is it's one that it happens in the womb, sort of thing. Um, uh, right. So, uh, 
Uh, as you knew, um, uh, Itagia, uh, if you have any questions, uh, do shout. It should hopefully be obvious what I'm doing. I'm trying to do the... Um, I think, we, yeah, we need fast inserters on this, don't we? Because it absolutely, absolutely pumps it out. Okay. So that gives us the sulfur. Why have I put it on the outside? Yeah, I'm trying to do the no spoon run, basically. You know, the eight hours, um, in quotes, speed run. But this isn't intended as the run to do that, although we're actually doing really weirdly well, even though I'm making loads of mistakes. Um, but this is just to, like, create a base that I can then blueprint and then redo, basically, quickly. Um, so I'm working things out as I do this, is the idea. Um, right, so if that's sulphur, then we also need plastic, which means we're grabbing that coal from over there. But we can set this side of it up. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, I think, in case I need to do something funky. Um, right, because we're going to need sulfuric acid eventually because we will need batteries and that sort of thing, but all we need right now uh, is uh, sulfur and plastic. So we'll do a few of these because you need a good amount of plastic. Get rid of you and you. Standard length playthrough. I don't know that I've really got one. Um, when I did the... Because I actually did the lazy bleeper run. Um, uh, while I was doing the mega base. So I, I did... Because it was getting a bit overwhelming for me. If I'm honest. At one point. Um, so I, I needed to... Basically do a normal playthrough. Where I wasn't having to think about... You know... Gigantic numbers and stuff. So I did the lazy... You know, Lazy Bleeper run then. And that took 23 hours, I think. Um, but that's how I know... That's kind of how I know that I'm overproducing. Because when I did that, I had a load of stuff like blueprinted. Like steel. I had um, like an entire steel array set up. And, you know, with the blueprint put down. And I'd already launched the rocket, so I kind of already know that um, doing what I did there, and that was, I was trying to make two lanes of steel, so, you know, um, I don't know if one lane is enough or not, sort of thing. Right, so now we can set up advanced oil. There we go. And I just need to get this done. Um, but yeah, that took about, I say, I don't know exactly, I think it was about 20, 22 hours or something, 25 hours, something like that. Um, uh, if I would leave that, I'm not sure I need that or not. Um, but yeah, as I say, I built a whole, and I had, I had like four sets of steam engines uh, in that. You know that thing, and I didn't. I didn't need them at all, basically. Um, two would have been fine, and that had. I mean, that had a rail system in it as well. I was because it was just a normal, um, you know, default settings type playthrough. Um, so I uh, needed to get some. Needed to bring the oil in via, you know, via train, and uh, I ran out of coal. Etc. Etc. Uh, right. Uh, so what? I, in fact, let's cut that off. Uh, I need to put the undergrounds on. In fact, let's do that like that. Uh, don't need that one then, do I? I'm doing, I don't know why I've decided to build this backwards from how I normally do it. As is not to reason why. I guess. 
Right, so. Right, so there we go. That's what's wrong. And that's in the wrong place. Won't it? It's there, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't, so I don't know why I normally put the pipes in first. So I don't know why I've gone and done it this way. But there you go. Oh, am I out of undergrounds, Craig? Okay, how many can I make? Enough. Connect that. Is that our first bit of plastic? No? What have I done wrong? Nothing. Awesome. Right. So I'll obviously have to come back to that in a bit, but this will get us hopefully our first bit of blue in about half an hour or so. Half an hour, half an hour, something like that. Right. So it clearly would have been better to underground it in the other direction, but that's only just occurred to me. Uh, right, like that. I missed that. So one of these is sulfur. Blue. So put that in directly. Okay, so blue science. Uh or should we make no let's, let's set the blue science up. Bit of room there. What I'm kind of anticipating on this, whether this is a, a good build or not, oh. I don't know. But what I can probably do is basically put engines in there and direct feed them in. Because what am I going to need for engines? Is that they take 10 seconds each. Oh, right, so we can actually do two to one, couldn't we? So if that's engines... I call them the motors, aren't they, I think, technically? Is the proper term. So if that was there, and that was there, and then that's the blue. Because that takes 24 seconds. How many does it require? Oh, it does take two. Oh, it's just one to one it, then. Uh, cool. Right. And I'm thinking... Oh. Six of these. Don't know why I'm thinking six of these. But I am thinking six of these. Uh, so this then is going to be blue... And then what else does it need? Obviously it needs the red and the sulphur. Uh, would I be better... So if we put the output there. They're even hot barred, these. Uh, and then that's the sulphur... Oops. It's my elite speedrunning skills that put him belts down in the wrong place. Uh, right. What do we need? We need 
everything. But how do we, what ratios? We need two pipes, one iron gear wheel and one copper. So, I guess we can, need some more of them, don't I? And them. Oops. Okay, so this one needs what? Gear wheels and steel. So I've got gear wheels there. That's going to be a terrible place to put that, isn't it? That should be there. Let's just get rid of you. It's going to be more like that. Oh, that. That there. This coming up here. Uh, pop that over there. Oh, I'm out again, I'm out again. Oops, did I just... Oh. That do. Right, uh, so we're out of these. Oh. Oh, that's not connected. That's why it's not grabbing pipes. It won't grab pipes if there's no pipes to grab. Right, so, yes. This is going to be the blue coming this way. And whatever else we end up. Probably purple, I guess, on the other side. Then this needs to be... This needs to be red and... Sulfur. So we've got the sulfur here. So we just divert that up. Steel's going that way. That's horrible, isn't it? I'm bound to forget. I'm bound to mess that up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to send that up directly. No, that's bad. Bad positioning, because what we need. Oops. Come on. What we need is to sideload this. There we go. That's a bit better. And then if I just underground you, we then need Set up some advanced circuits, which we can do over here. I'm going to copy and paste this in case we do need more green. And I can just throw that in. Whether I need that or not, I don't know. But uh, it sounds good. That was my approach to no spoon. Cool. Sorry if you said that a while ago. Got into the. <laughs> Got into the groove then and almost forgot forgot I was streaming. Um, what am I doing? I'm doing advanced circuits. Uh, so I assume you've, I mean, if you've done um, Spoon, then you must be um, a <laughs> very experienced player. Um, attack here. Uh, what am I doing? So I want cables, don't I? Yeah. And then that will be able to feed a whole bunch of these boys. I won't put them in for just yet. We need cables, green circuits, and plastic. Okay, but is it, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not loads. But a bunch of green, a bunch of cables. No, it helps if you put the belt in the right direction. And then we'll have plastic and green circuits there. 
optimal output to that. Okay, so I'm going to need a few more of both of those. We also need copper, but we can do that in very simple fashion. Like so. Uh, not the most efficient or elegant of builds, but yeah. So we need copper first. Da -da -da. We need power. Like so. We need recipes copied down. We need skirters. Probably more of those. Uh, inputs there. There. Da, da, da. Why is the power not connected? Because I haven't connected it up. That's why. So there's power. Excellent. So we need plastic and green circuits. There. I don't even know why I'm underground in that because there's nothing on it yet. Right, let's just mirror that up then. What have I done there? Oh, that's output, isn't it? And that's input. There we go. Why are you so slow? It's just because you're a level one machine. Do, do, do. Wrong hand. Oh, no. Wrong, way. Wrong one. That needs to be the first. And that one. Right, so we want you to. No? I'll get this right in a minute. There we go. That one there. That one there. Need more of them. That's the input and the input. Right, yeah, so we connect the copper up. Oh, I've run out of it as well. Say what? I say, assuming we don't fluke it, basically, <laughs> end up getting the achievement almost without trying. That's not right, I don't mean that. Almost without, uh, you know, now optimize, uh, you know, working it through, as it were. Why is that not? It's things like that, you know, undergrounds and all that sort of stuff that really needs sorting out. Because obviously it takes time to do a lot of that and, you know, me having to delete belts and all that sort of stuff. If I know it's already an underground, I'll just stick an underground in straight away. So that should save a lot of time, basically. So a tiny trickle of reds. Um, we need to work out how many we actually need. So if we're saying... I've got six machines. So I need... Oh, it's of course it's 24 seconds, isn't it? So... Six, twelve... I think so it's a quarter... Of that... 12, 
So it's six seconds. So every six seconds I need three advanced circuits. So I did one every two seconds. Obviously I'm disregarding the machine speed. How are we doing on power? That's a point. Oh, loads of power. Um, and they take six seconds each. So we're making more than we need? No, less than we need, because six machines would be one second. So I need one extra chunk, don't I? Yeah. It's not going to make a lot of difference if I've got this wrong, because we need them for blue circuits anyway. to stock up on. We'll grab some of that. Some of them. Uh, pipe, etc. Cogs. Plate. Copper. Yeah, might as well. Go and chuck these in the blues. Did I not even... S oh, I'm... Didn't even set the advanced oil running. I don't know. Da -da -da. Why have I got all that stone? Oh my god, that's slow. That's not, is that, that's not a power issue, no. Oh, I've not even hooked these in. Wow, that's slow. Okay, maybe if I just handcraft a few of those. Was that six? No, that was five. Compensate a bit for that. We could always make a speed module or two. So I can. In fact, we got a bunch there, haven't we? I don't need to handcraft the advanced circuits. Five, six. Okay, let them chunk away. Do, 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 do. The wrong in pollution, right? Hmm, okay. We're going to pop it on that. For the time being. Um, yeah. So we're making some blue. So we'll get advanced oil in a second, so then we can set up, you know, a bit of the old solid fuel production, which we can then use to make rockets. Not in, not planning on burning that or anything in boilers. We sh we're just going to stick with coal. Um, so we just need them for for rocket fuel. Let's have a look at what we actually need to do here. Because basically... I mean, we're sort of remarkably close, but a long way away, because there are two sciences we need to do. This is what I was looking at. No, three, sorry, two sciences we need to do that require gold, which is the silo itself 
and the RCUs. Is that right? The silo itself and the RCUs are the only ones that need gold. Yeah, because we don't we don't need to do satellites. We don't need to launch a satellite. Is my understanding. Um, now, how long do those take? They are quite a long time, aren't they? But literally, we only need you know, what's that? Three hundred gold. Plus a thousand gold. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so we need thirteen hundred gold. I say that's why we're sort of really close, but a long way away. Because, you know, to make blue, to make utility, we obviously need processing units, robot frames, and low density structures. Should I try and do bots, and will that help me? I think the thing is, if I had bots. If I had a blueprint already, then building bots would be good because that would they would start fill you know I could leave them to fill things in, but I don't have the blueprint. So, what is that really going to save me in this run of it? But we have to think in terms of next time. We will have a blueprint, so I think maybe. Try and get yellow up and running as soon as we can. Or, you know, do these, you know, these things to get a handful of robots. Because I do know we don't want too many orders for the robots to do. And, you know, we don't want too many bots because it's quite a resource sink. All that steel, etc. So I think we target yellow first because purple. Again, we do need we need it for like three. I think is it three? So we need them for prod threes and speed threes. Is it not a bit weird that speed uses requires prod? That doesn't make sense in a way, does it? Prod science, I mean. You'd think that it would be the high tech one. Oh, no, it's utility, they call it now, don't they? Anyway, we need it for the Speed 3 and Prod 3, and then the rocket itself. We don't need it for the RCUs. And we literally, we don't need any Speed Module 3, I don't think, because... No, it's Prod Module 1, isn't it, for Gold Science? Uh, for Prod Science is Prod 1, yeah. Which for which we need blue circuits, don't we? Is that right? So let's go back in the tree. Uh, so you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's level two where you start needing the blue circuits. So we don't actually need blue circuits for them. Mm. But we do for them. Yeah. So really, I think we need to make we need to get gold science running for or the ingredients for gold science. In preference to those for purple science. I mean, obviously, I've kind of already got them because we got the stone brick. Yeah. I've made I'm making stone brick now, obviously this stone as well. Oh I can add that to the the bus, good night. And then red and green circuits we've got. Hmm. So I could actually make prod sciences, but as I say, I think probably better to Does that make sense though? Because we could make prod science and just have it being stacked up, because that's really slow as well, isn't it? Yeah, three. Oh, it's quicker than blue, but given we're going to need a thousand of the the things to make the rocket silo, we kind of might as well do that. So, what would that look like? I mean, we can have six of them as well, I guess, because that's 
fairly nice size and it's going to produce sort of you know same rate of, as the blue so if we had where are we going so to do that so it's rail that's the tricky one but not really because basically the prod modules and electric furnaces we could um they're really quick or actually no utilities are fairly slow aren't they let's have a quick look um so how long do they they're 15 seconds each one of those takes so if we had three of them seven seconds so we would need like two prod module machines furnaces are like half a second aren't they and rails very quick but we probably want to do a direct insert on that okay so i've changed my mind we'll do we'll set up prod science because we've kind of got everything there and i can have it basically fill up a belt with prod science so that there's at least a little stack of it when we get to that particular, those researches yeah we'll go down that road okay i'll get i'm doing this because i'm <laughs> horrible feeling we might get very close to doing the eight hours what we got left on the stream so i normally stream three to your six so i've only really got about 10 minutes left today how about we add stone do i send the stone down here that was where i was going to send the red circuits down i think i've massively overproduced haven't i i don't think we need like this scale of stuff at all hmm okay Let's just hive off a little bit of stone here. It's probably the last thing we'll do today. Um, because I do find a need to stop at usual sort of time. How long's left? So I've got three and a half hours left. Uh, where am I feeding this in? We want it here, but I've done something horrible. So, let's take it round there. So we take it across here. You see what I mean? This is the sort of stuff that I can iron out post, once we've, as it were, finished. Because, I mean, look at the state of this. Uh, oh. So yeah, if we do end up relatively close, that'll be a good sign. I think. Right, so we need that to be underground. Stone coming in. Same there. That's okay. That's fine. Okay, so if we had purple, hmm. if we had purple, where? There's a little bit of room so that I can make, you know, um, oh. Watch me call it. Um, oh, I do need to stop streaming because <laughs> we're losing the power of speech. Um, so this will be purple. But obviously, not actually done that research yet. But um, if that's purple, then I really want it to go down, and I'm intending to sort of stockpile it. I want it to go really down both sides, don't I? Because then. There'll be a sort of full belt of stuff ready to go. So, this is purple. 
So that's advanced oil, so we'll set up rocket fuel as well. And that'll probably be where we pick up next Saturday. Um, so it should be normal streams next week as well. Um, uh, I can't set the recipe, can I? Because I haven't researched it yet. Getting ahead of myself. And hang on. So purple science requires rail, which is what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. So that was done. This should be... What am I going to do with that then? So maybe... We have one... We have a... Machines making rail. There. Did I make those? I did. So if we stick one of these in, see if that sort of helps a bit. So if this is make, I can set rail. I think. There we go. Making rail. How am I get? Oh, I could just come up the other side. So we could just have some long handeds here. Except we can't, because I'm doing that mess. Um. just do something down the bottom because it's not exactly going to be a massive volume of stuff so I can just chuck in a old fashioned uh, you know non-balance of balancer uh, so that'll be purple so that's going to need stone and steel oh and I'm in Iron sticks as well. It's one to one to one to one, isn't it? Is this the this is the only thing? Oh no! Well, we need concrete, don't we? But we could do something funky with that. So if we have a single machine making sticks, that should feed everybody because they're only half a second oh no they're half a second as well is that one to one as well then oh no two two rail in half a second requires one stick and you get two iron sticks so it's actually two to one so I need three of these, really. Okay. So I can maybe put them here. So if you're all making on stick. That's not going to saturate the belt, is it? Oh, not got any room. Uh, can I fit them all in here? Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh. I would need to... Load something else on the side there, though, wouldn't I? No, I could I could do both of them on yeah, okay. So if we have iron plate coming up here. Oh. Like that. There you go, a whole bunch of them. remarkable how the power poles just keep getting in the way. Why have I undergrounded that? Yeah, I need to stop because I'm starting to make too many errors, really. Uh, which isn't helping plan this out properly. Right, so... Do I 
need. We'll see, we'll see. Then. So what am I putting on there? I'm putting on steel and stone. Which is what we've just added. So we'll take this as the... In fact, I could probably... Can I get them both on now? It is in the way. Again, don't know if I need stone for anything in particular or not. Let's assume not for now. I mean, the blue is actually stacking up, look. But then, is that a particularly slow one? Not really, 45 seconds. Hmm, okay. So this, oh, I keep looking, trying to look for the recipe, basically. So, purple, we need Prod modules and electric furnaces. Prod are red and green. But we need, was it three machines to do that? It's sort of two and a half, I think, but it's three machines. And electric furnaces is just the one. I can't even set that recipe either, can I? Advanced circuits, stone brick and steel. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. Um, and we'll pick up next Saturday. Um, I stream uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The weekend basically um saturday and sunday is um factorio uh i'm going over we'll set up some solid fuel production next week and then hopefully while i'm doing that rocket fuel will finish and we can chuck that on as well then obviously we need to switch this in fact did i do that recipe finished it didn't we yeah so we need to switch that over as well uh yeah pause that there so i say we'll uh we'll pick up next next saturday with this uh, i won't do anything in between other than i'll note down what recipe orders i did um for future reference uh and uh i will be back though tomorrow for some dyson sphere program um i've been doing a little bit during the week um setting some of the blueprints up as i mentioned in yesterday's stream not a fan of their their blueprint system um they've tried they've done some nice things but some of the simple stuff that you would think would be there isn't <laughs> and then they've made everything else a bit too complicated um but yeah so uh if factor is what you're interested in then i say i'll be back next week um three o'clock uh, GMT uh, as a local there's a listing on my uh, Twitch page um, for your local time uh, stream for about three hours Saturday and Sunday uh, so it won't be anything special next week uh, what will have probably happen I mean I might go because we've only got about three and a half hours left on that no spoon thing so I'll probably run that clock down um, and then the next day we'll see whether you know another three hours will get as the rocket launched or you know, do we need to keep going? Because I wouldn't mind getting the the 15 hour one, you know, if we can. Um, and then it's about basically refining what we've got, you know, making sure it's a bit more efficient and easy to lay down 
and then doing it as an actual run. So yeah, so if you've been watching today, then thanks for joining me, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and you might consider coming back. Uh, you can find me on the Twitter, uh, at Trismagistus as well, if you want to see me uh, you know, posting when I'm going live. Uh, and I have a YouTube channel as well, again, Trismagistus, but the YouTube and the Twitter are alias to Triggles. Uh, you can catch up with uh, all the series on, on the YouTubes, um, where I've got the VODs all archived, uh, if you want to watch through those. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. No, other than just to say, I say thanks for joining me. Thanks again, Grim, for uh, popping by. Um, and I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. And I will hopefully catch you in another one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh, and obviously, thanks to Zeki for, for the follow and, and a bit of chatting. Um, did anyone else pop in? No, it's just that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.